Hey everyone, we're back with more, more Golden Sun. Winchick, how you doing? How'd you sleep? Did you have dreams of uh, climbing out of uh, holes after uh, on a vaunting after off of uh, cliffs? All right, guys, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to use the Aura Halcon, and whatever we get, we get. That's... that's it. Let's hope for something good. Uh, okay. Gonna get a smoke bomb. I have a smoke bomb and I hate it. I keep it to remind me of my hatred. Alright, now we're gonna leave town and come back. You don't remember any dreams right now? Last night, my dream, I farted into my hand, cut off my hand, and mailed it to Wintrig, and she was so happy. Thanks, Wintrig. <laughs> uh, no, we're not in the 600 jets. We're close. In case you're wondering, I have not deleted any quotes. You deleted all the gross ones. The fuck is a nebula one? Alright, I guess that's what we're going with. I hope you like your previous weapon, because this is probably better. Nope, it isn't. Unleashes reverse star. What is a reverse star? Is that one like the fuck instead of exploding outward? I mean, you know what? Good, you'd be really sad. No, I didn't delete any of them. Uh, unless they're uh, really, really pointless or it's somebody abusing the quote system. Uh, 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 quoting me saying things, just reading dialogue in the game. Uh, I, I don't delete any quotes. Just gonna be a litany of gross things. Eh, sometimes it gets worse than others in here. Honestly, a lot of my quotes come from playing off things that you guys say, and then it just turns into something else. Now we're gonna blast that robot dong. Alright guys, you ready? We're heading back up to the Mars Lighthouse. We are gonna go fight the Doom Dragon. And we might lose. We're probably going to lose. Although I did discover something interesting that might turn the game in, in my favor. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's a hobby, right? When she got quote number five, you guys. Darksiders 2. I love that game. As a reminder, uh, if there is a game you guys want to see me play, um, all you gotta do is spend some channel points and I will add it to my list. Why did I go all the way around like this? This is clearly not where I need to be. Sorry, guys. No, actually, no. Fuck it. I can do that. I can make that work. Why would I do that? Oh, I love Darksiders 2. I gotta play the Darksiders 3 DLC, but I also... I'm not really all that interested in it. It's just a bunch of reused models with, uh... Nothing really new. <laughs> Piss. Oh yeah, if you didn't pick up the War Master Edition, it was definitely worth it. Darksiders 4 is in the works, by the way. They have not said what they're doing with 4 yet, but I assume it's gonna be Strife Story. I hope it's Strife Story. On the YouTubes. I 
Nina. I have the COVID. Oh, guys, I don't know if you heard. <clears throat> I don't know the entire ins and outs of it, but uh, some Toronto researchers, uh, I say Toronto because uh, they're Canadian and based in Canada, um, have uh, found a chemical that fully neutralizes the uh, SARS COVID, the, the base virus that makes up COVID-19. What the applications of that is, I don't know, but uh, that's still really cool. Guys, join the same for a boss fight. <clears throat> Grand Chimera. Alright, so when we get to the boss, uh, I'm going to be skipping through the dialogue as fast as I can because there's a lot of it. What? Don't help me. Um, well, they've proven that they can neutralize it, uh, so, I mean, that's good. It's not a quack theory in that regard. Now, they haven't said how that uh, that can be applied to helping people uh, get over COVID. But I'm hoping it's a step in, in the right direction. Four is just going to be Mark Hamill's character from one insulting you constantly. Dude, Mark Hamill did a good job. Whenever I tell people that's Mark Hamill's character the voice in that, they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, what do you mean, no, it's not? I'm like, dude, Mark Hamill does great voice work. He's an amazing Joker. He, uh, he also played the cock knocker in uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Speaking of which, how many of you guys have seen Jay and Silent Bob Reboot? I kind of want to host that for a movie night. Which, by the way, guys, tonight uh, we decided we're going to shift things around and we're going to be watching Alien. Wintrigue, you got to be there. That's right, he is Ericus in Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we start about nine. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Uh, we were going to be watching the Scorpion King this week. <clears throat> but we're going to reorder that and watch Alien, because... Uh, Wintrigue was supposed to be there, uh, but then she conveniently had her internet go out on that week. I don't know where I'm going, so... I think this is right. This isn't right. This is not right at all. Oh well, chance for some more XP, I guess. Hey, he Piers went up a level. You have the FF14 BGM on the clashing. You're not eager to revisit them? That's okay. We're just making Winchig watch it because she's never seen them. Where the fuck do I go? I don't remember. This isn't right. McGrunchy, I wasn't able to beat the boss here, so I'm actually here to fight the boss now, but I don't remember where I go. Want to see Joy Troy Baker get his own Joker? There's plenty of classics you've never seen, like Spaceballs. Yeah. There we go. This is where I want to be. Hello, McRachi! How are you doing today? We're ready to lose to this boss again. Wait. 
backwards, actually. Alright, here goes. Let's skip through that as fast as we can. McRozzy has a mocha bean hat, exactly. And a Christmas babble. Someone loan Wintreak VR so we can make her play Isolation on VR. Dude, she won't even play Outlast. I made a deal with her a while back if she played Outlast and she wouldn't. Look at this fuck, the wise one. It's just a rock with an eye. It's basically a testicle with an eye. This is Gus Ball. Sentient. All viewing. So his face or his butthole. That's fitting. So, phase two of this fight is actually kind of hard. Phase three is even fucking harder. <clears throat> this music reminds me of Demon Crest so much. Alas, I cannot use smoke bombs. You can't run from this fight. Like I said, there's a lot of dialogue here. And you can't skip it. Fuck who's been ruining my Golden Sun 2 experience. What, Jake? We need uh, Christmas hats for the, for, for the stream. There he is. The son of a bitch himself. Blood War Arc anime release? Is that for Bleach? I didn't do much. Don't do that.
We'll just chip his health down for now. Life Shear! Cut off one of his heads with a giant scissor, that would've been cool. This fucker and his four attacks. got three turns to that, so... Megiddo! He haunted me. What, a, what an asshole. He healed himself for 78. I thought winning son. Uh, not yet. It's too early to be seen, I'm afraid. Fucking oh good, it didn't have me back. Alright, never mind. Does he got three heads still? Yeah, he still has three heads. Alright. Only did 44 damage. Good. Look okay, at Flare Storm. What the fuck? Fuck your Earth Force. Fuck your Gravel Blow. Alright, we have enough for Shade. Good. That'll be good for next round. We got 20 PP back, guys. That's right. We're playing the long game here. Okay, there he goes. The Duke Dragon? I don't know if it'd make an automatic 10 out of 10, but that'd be interesting. Alright, 632. Earth Force. Serpent Boom. No crow rune, huh? I'm surprised. Oh, you fuck. That's alright. You and your damn guard aura. Oh, that still did a lot of damage to Jenna.
<clears throat> Megiddo! Alright, well, fuck me then. Suit Dragon. Feel like you're in a dangerous spot. I don't like it. Oh, granted, it's reset to him, though. When he drains all the gin, uh, I got a pseudo plan for that. Megiddo! <clears throat> Granite's still a ways away. As long as I can do at least a little bit of damage to him per round, I'm pretty sure I'm, we're okay. That's fine. It's unfortunate, but it's fine. Also means he's probably gonna drain. Oh, there it goes. He guarded and I still broke him. That's great.
All right. Hundred eighty-five. 134, 228. There's Jinstorm, right out the fucking bat. What a fucking asshole. So, uh, Siba may be dead here. Am I winning? No. Not yet. I'm afraid. You fucker. One turn I can use granite, okay. Stop hitting yourself? What? Ah, that's gonna hurt. Al Pierce is probably dead if he uses Cruel Rin. Oh, that was lucky. Okay. That was scary. I actually should have healed him. Crap. He might be okay. He might live through this. Depends on if he targets Piers with it directly or not. Okay, Piers is fine. Wait, no, I had um, Granted up. I don't know if uh, Jenna's gotten all of hers back yet, so I don't really want to swap her in yet. Not the greatest, but not the worst. One forty nine, throw rune. This is gonna hurt a lot. Yep, saw that coming.
How long do you want this damn battle to be? Too fucking long. Ow. That's not good. Especially not good. Isaac could die. Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, we're still three turns off from that, but... Gardora, whatever. Damn it! That's when he chooses the Megiddo him, you fuck. Oh well, a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. It's chip damage. Chip damage is chip damage. We'll take it. Okay, I can't use granite for two turns, so... <clears throat> okay. Um... You're still two turns away? Okay. I am the best at this game! My fucking plan worked! Oh shit, we killed our parents. Well, fuck us, right? Who are they? That's what I was trying to warn you about! It wasn't just the dragon you killed! I remember you warning us, but it was too late for us to stop! Kraden, what do you know? Why were you trying to stop us from fighting the dragon? Why not just look at who the people is? It was the wise one's final trap! Trap? What do you mean? The wise one knew he couldn't stop you, so he played a cruel, wretched trick on you instead! Creighton, I don't understand. What are you trying to tell us? Sheba, let's see who those people are while they try to sort this out. No, Jenna, don't look! You mustn't look! It will only bring you pain! What are you talking about, Creighton? They can't just... they can't hurt us anymore. We'll just... What's the matter, Jenna? It can't be. How? How? <clears throat> what is it, Isaac? <sighs> Isaac, I, I know that guy. That's your dad. Then does that mean the other two are... <clears throat> Mom. Dad. I'll heal Jenna's parents. Quickly, Mia. Tend to Isaac's father. If only, if only I'd realized it sooner! You'd notice it right away, you fucking idiot! They just didn't listen to you! <laughs> What's the matter, Piers? Why did you stop? Jenna's parents need you! Don't give up, Mia. You can't! You have to save them! It's no use, Ivan. I'm tapped. I have, I have to go run around and get more PP. I am too, and even if I weren't, it's just too late. What are you saying? I guess we could have stu stood off to the side here and just uh, chucked the or, or the Mars Star into the uh, into the hole. They're not. They can't be. That's not what I'm saying, Jenna. I. I finally found them. I was gonna be with them for the first time in years. Jenna. Please, it can't be. Mom, wake up! It's me! It's Jenna! Don't leave me. <coughs> That's why the other name for this boss is Orphanator. <laughs> Jenna, you must prepare yourself what comes for what comes next. Being transformed into a dragon, fighting in that form, this requires tremendous power. What are you saying, Kraden? In fighting you, your parents were forced to use every last ounce of their energy. They don't have the strength to... Even if they had won the battle, they would not have survived. You cannot blame yourself. Then why were you telling us not to fight? You monster! Why did you do this? Why did you make us fight Jenna's parents? 
You're not, you're no god, you're no protector, you're evil! You don't understand the pain you have caused, wise one. You have no idea the damage done to a child who learns she destroyed her own parents. That's enough. I knew I was doing the, what I was doing the moment I raised my sword. We defied the wise one in order to save the world. Our parents would understand. Don't you think so, Felix? You're right. It hurts, but it's true. We didn't do this for ourselves. We did it for all of Weird. We still have a chance to save Prox. Perhaps we can save your parents, but we can save countless others. Kyle and the others saved them too. They sacrificed their lives so that we could go on. Uh, that's a bit of a stretch, but okay. I never imagined that my actions would help to save the world. Even though letting the beacon may create wars and strife, I regret none of this. There's little time left, Felix. Use the Mars Star and light the beacon. I'm sorry that things had to end up like this, Jenna. Uh, Felix, Jenna, I'm so happy to have the le a such an to see you in the end. <coughs> Felix, I, I can't see you, but I sense that you're nearby. Please take care of Jenna for us. No. Both Kyle and your parents were very dear to me. My sorrow joins yours, friend. We must light the beacon, if for no other reason than to provide them with a proper funeral. I don't know my parents. They might be alive somewhere out there, but I share your pain. Do you? Do you? <coughs> Felix, you made it back. Alive. Please, I must ask one last thing. Tell Dora to live her life to the fullest for me. No. I wish I could console you somehow. It must be tough. I just wish I've had uh, one last chance to have some of Felix's mother's cookies. Our quest is almost over. I I don't know how I'm going to tell Mom about this. But Sora can wait. We've got to light the beacon. Alright. If Alex sets all, all this in motion, then he's responsible for this, and I'll never forgive him. Oh, his forgiveness, or your forgiveness, I'm sure that's the biggest crux to his plan. Why isn't it giving me the option to... Uh, there you go. Alright, get in there. <laughs> Wait, she won't forgive me? I'm foiled again, right? Oh look, we split the entire fucking lighthouse in half again. Damn it, we keep doing this! The beacon is lit! And to think, I joined this quest hoping to prevent exactly this from happening. And I began this quest as a prisoner, taken against my will. <laughs> if we're keeping score. And if that tidal wave hadn't sent me off far off course, I wouldn't even be here now. How many lives have been taken and changed forever just to light this beacon? Mom? Dad? Where is safe now? You're right! I hear voices too! I told you. I told you I could hear them. Who said that? Where are you? We're in Emil. We're at the base of Mercury Lighthouse. You... you can't be. You... you can't be. Hey, I know that voice! It's Mia! I just know it! Mia! It's you! Of course it's us. You can hear... we can hear you, Mia! You're alright! All, I'm so happy! Who are those two kids talking to? I don't know. Fucking kids these days. They've been standing there telling everyone to leave the lighthouse. Weird couple of kids if you ask me. Get off my lawn! How is it that we can hear you? I don't know. But he told us we'd be able to talk to you if we came in here now. He? Who's he? I don't know. We were sleeping and he came to us in a dream. He said, go to the lighthouse! The lighthouse? Why? He said that we have to deliver a message. He was too busy to do it himself. What message? We have to warn everyone to stay clear of the lighthouses. What's going to happen? I don't know, but he told us to warn people away from Mount Aleph as well. But who is he? You still haven't told us! You're a meanie! I don't tell meanies anything! Don't pay attention to him. It's me, Mia. Can you tell me who spoke to you? I told you, I don't know, but he looked like a big rock. With a big rocky eye. The, the wise one. Ah oh, shit, there's a giant testicle here now. 
What could he be doing? Of course, I understand! The wise one said that when all four lighthouses have been lit, the golden sun will shine. And when that happens, Mount Aleph and the lighthouses will probably become quite dangerous. So the wise one is warning people in dreams, telling them to seek refuge. Why would he do that? You saw what he did to us. He can't be up to anything good. Have you not learned? One's actions do not always reveal one's true intentions. Hama, sister! Master Hama, did you receive a message too? Yes, I was called to the Jupiter Lighthouse in a dream. You have completed your quest, but I see that it comes with great loss. Your suffering has been almost unbearable. <laughs> Thanks, Vector. Hmm, Hama. Master Hama, my parents. I know, Jenna, and I am sorry. But do not give up hope for them just yet. What do you mean, Master Hama? Appearances can be an illusion. The wise one has a caring heart. He forces to fight Isaac and Jenna's parents. What's so caring about that? If the wise one were truly evil, he would not be warning me of danger in my dreams. Well, I guess not, but then what's he up to? We do not have time to discuss it right now. She's right! If the wise one said it's not safe to be near the lighthouses, then I think we should listen. I'm heading for safety too. All of you must get away from the lighthouse now. Alright everyone, let's go! What about our parents? We can't leave them behind. I understand how you feel, but we won't make it if we have to take them with us. Make the decision, Felix. Should we take them with us? Yes. It's too dangerous! The golden sun is forming! A ray of light is emanating from the beacon, from the Mars star. What will happen? The power of alchemy will be unleashed upon the world! We must take Isaac's father and Jenna's parents and flee! Stop it! Let go of my wrist! Garrett, get a grip! No one's touching you! I'm serious! I... The beacon! Jenna, we have to move your parents. Mom! Dad! What's happening? <clears throat> There's no time for questions! Just carry them! Carry them and go! Just cast... Ret retreat. Pick them up, cast retreat. Done. Put them in your bag of holding. Thank you, Felix. And you too, Isaac and Crayden. By igniting Mars Lighthouse, you have stopped Gaia Falls from devouring, devouring our town. We're just glad to have helped save Laird. You've been through many trials, and more than any of us can ever know. That's right, I went through Trial Road. Fuck that place. We had no idea what to expect when we lit the final beacon. When we saw the flash of the beacon, you had no idea what, we had no idea what you'd suffered to light it. I thought we were done for. There was no way we could escape with our parents' bodies. Well, at least not if we hadn't pulled together and overcome our sorrows. That light was brilliant! You know, I shall always regret that I didn't get to look upon the beacon's light from afar. I understand your regret. As a scholar of alchemy, you would have been most impressed. I saw the beam of blue, red, and purple streaming out toward the southeast. That's the direction in which Vale's lot. Vale lies, is it not? Was that the light headed to your hometown? Indeed it was. The wise one said the beams are going to merge into one above the Mount Aleph. The orb of glowing light we saw that was shining directly over Vale? Yes! That was the golden sun forming over Mount Aleph. If I remember the tales correctly, the golden sun is the very is the blast of light emitted at the very moment the Stone of Sages forms. Such legends exist even here? I wish that I'd known that sooner. I fear for Vale to think that all this energy is being released right over your hometown. The titular Golden Sun. We're all worried that ha uh, about what happened. We're hoping we can return to Vale as quickly as possible. Oh, is there nothing we can do to convince you to stay? We had hoped you might stay in Prox a while, but that sounds unlikely. Why would you think that was a possibility? Don't worry, we plan on returning as soon as we quiet uh, things quiet down, don't we? No, I don't. You've just completed a long and difficult journey. Perhaps when you are older and you will look back on your youth, you will remember us fondly. When that time comes, I may no longer be in this world. Don't say such things. I'm sure a long life awaits you. Well, I suppose we should be departing for Vale soon. You're right, Creighton. If we don't, you know who might start causing trouble. At least some of you, your cares have been remedied. You must be glad to know we've brought all three back from the brink of death. The 
It would not have thought it pos- I would not have thought it possible had I not seen it. Even I do not fully understand it, but there ca can be no doubt. The fire synergy released by the beacon rekindled their spirits. I didn't expect so much synergy to be released by the light of his ball light. I have no real explanation, other than their life force had not been fully extinguished. It was a miracle, but the fire synergy seems to have recharged them somehow. And had your parents not been adepts, the wave of synergy would have passed them by. Isaac, what's taking you so long? Don't keep me waiting! Uh-oh! It's Jenna! We're late! She looks rather displeased with us! Should I let her know we're leaving? I'm sorry, Jenna, but it sounds like we're gonna be take all the things that's a bit longer. Well, I'm not waiting much longer. If you don't come soon, we're all leaving without you. I'll wait outside with them. Guys, join dudes for a boss fight. I don't think they want to wait here anymore, Felix. They have no patience whatsoever. Oh, well, I suppose it's time to leave. May your journey home be safe and un uneventful. We shall never forget what ha you have done for Brox. I'm not talking to these people. Hey, it's not a blizzard here anymore, though. What took you so long? Mom and Dad are tired of waiting for you. That's not true, Felix. You take as long as you need to say farewell to the people of Prox. Don't worry about us, Felix. Well and the others took good care of us. Don't tell them that, we'll be stuck here forever. <clears throat> you look like you're feeling back to your old self, Jenna. You were weeping such mournful tears after the battle. What, as if, you can't prove anything. Go easy on her. You have to remember, she thought that both of her parents had died. Oh, you were crying, Jenna? No, I said, I said I wasn't. Now you've got me thinking about my family. I didn't think I'd miss them this much. I only hope that they're all safe back in Vale. I just want to be home again. I want to see how my mother is doing. Don't worry, son. I'm sure Dora's doing fine. She's a strong woman. I too want to see how she's doing. And she wouldn't let anything happen until you came home. Because she wants you to overhear us. Sorry to keep you all waiting! At last, the time has come for us to return to Vale. As soon as we leave Prox, we'll head toward Angara, and from there, to Vale. I can't wait to see this winged ship of yours, it sounds so incredible! I remember so little of our trip to Prox. This is really my first voyage on a ship. I've heard that the wind and waves make the boat rock. I hope I don't get sick. The ancient ship of ours actually flies above the ocean, it's quite a cozy ride. Looks like we've got an exciting last trip ahead of us, doesn't it? Wow, setting out like this takes me back to our own quest start. It was so long ago. If you keep talking like this, we'll never get it anywhere. Let's go, Felix! Alright, I kind of wish they didn't revive the parents. What's the matter, boys? Are you reluctant to depart? After all we've been through, you can't possibly be nervous about this small trip. I just hope that Vale came out of this as good a condition as Prox did. Valencia! Attacking me. Ha! Bested. We won't know until we get there. I can't stop thinking about how my parents are doing. We're both? Uh, were the both of them in Vale? Can't you make a guess, Kraden? Will Vale still be standing when we arrive? Not even I can know that. I can see it in your eyes, Kraden. You think something's happened, don't you? It's a possibility, one that cannot be ignored. If it's not, if it's not there, then what's the point of even going back? <clears throat> Is that really how you feel, Isaac? What about you, Felix? You remember, don't you, Felix? That, think about it a moment, for a moment, Isaac. What do you mean? Our conversation with Hama after we reignited the bacon. Don't you remember us talking to the children from Emil at the base of the Mercury Lighthouse? When they were warning people away from the lighthouses? Yes, the wise one instructed everyone to seek refuge. Yeah, so what about it? You still don't see Garrett? Even if failed were destroyed, I expect all the villagers have all escaped to safety. I guess that's true. They might still be alright. Oh yeah, we fought Diamond, the Cursed Arisen, and we won. That's true. So, whatever happens, my family's safe. 
I'd forgotten about that. Thanks, Craden. <clears throat> Garrett, can you make sure that everyone else knows that? Okay, let's go! The both of you, we have to catch up to everyone! Craden. Why did the wise one change our parents into, dra into a dragon? Why did he make us fight them? I mean, he almost killed them. He tried to make us kill our own parents. Why? Do you think that he intended them to die from the start? I cannot speak for him. But I think he would know that they, they would be revived by the beacon's light. We cannot hope to fathom the motives of a being as all-powerful as the wise one. You don't know either, Creighton. I can only hazard a guess. The wise one wanted to test you. What do you mean, test us? I cannot tell you more. It is up to you to find the answer. We will use alchemy to wage war to raise army, or will we use alchemy to rage war to raise armies? Or will we use it to grow wise, to rise above our petty feuds and perform great deeds? <coughs> you were willing to sacrifice everything for your quest. I'd say you've risen to this, this challenge. Oops, is everyone else that far ahead of us? We'd better hurry and catch up to the others before they leave us behind. After all, I'm not terribly interested in trying to walk all the way back to Vale. If you feel the same, then we'd better be hurrying. Hey, you talk way too much. Isaac, Felix, we're off! Yep, but when they use alchemy to make their lives better, what they gain in joy, um, they lose in apathy. Okay, this game was really good. Just overall, but I have a fucking question. That last fight seemed absolutely pointless. I also kind of wish they didn't revive the parents. Um, I feel like they could have gone okay with not doing that. And really, really lost nothing from the story. Except the characters are a little sad now. The fuck are you doing, dude? <clears throat> the Golden Sun, the very quintess quintessence of alchemy's power. It's beginning. Wait for me, please, wait! Wait until I reach the summit of Mount Aleph. Does he get the Golden Sun? They also haven't really spoken too much about the nature of the Golden Sun yet, so I imagine we're going to see the ramifications of that in Dark Dark Dawn. Graphic art. <clears throat> Is it over? It could be. Lactose intolerable, welcome. Oh man, I beat the fucking Doom Dragon. That guy sucked. Did you guys like my my um my genius strategy? It was so genius, all it was was swap a character out. Or two. Two characters. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game. That was your strat? <clears throat> yeah, so that's why I, I just swapped in Mia and I kept her. Um, I was just gonna wait till he Jin stormed again and then uh, swap her back to, uh, to Jen at that point, but I didn't need to. Fortunately, we, we killed him. I love that the second phase I killed while he was actually literally guarding. Hit him by 18 and he fucking his second head died. All the lighthouses are going up. They're shooting their beacons into the air and forming the titular golden sun. That or they're, summon, uh, they're sending out a signal to something extraterrestrial. What could that be? Well, we may never know. Sending signals to Elon's car in space. Oh shitty, he made it. I'd be better if he was like suddenly super buff. 
At last, I have it! Eternal life and limitless power. At last, the power of nature is mine to control as I will. Rise, storms! Rise a paw up and unleash your might upon Vale in the foothills of Mount Aleph. Why? Nope, no power for you. Fuck you. That's odd. I should have limitless power. So why can't I call up a simple storm? Who, who are you? I am called the Wise One. The Wise One? Vale's protector? You wish to have a limitless power? Wish to? I just got it! No, your power is nearly limitless, but it has boundaries. Nearly limitless? You speak in riddles, can't you see? The power is mine! Yes, you also have nearly endless life. And your synergy is somewhat stronger. If you're trying to anger me, have a little taste of exactly how much power I have attained. Look at me! My body is brimming with power! Alright. How? What's going on? I should be all-powerful! How can you defeat me? How? You are not all-powerful, Alex. Your power has its limits, as does your life. That cannot be! Who is responsible for this treachery? Who has robbed me of my dream? I, the wise one, imbued the Mars Star with some of the power of the forming Golden Sun. It rests even now in the hands of a young Isaac. Why? The heavens and earth are changing, Alex. You must flee now. Wh what? Mount Aleph will soon be drawn into the heart of the earth. You must flee or join it forever. Flee? I can't flee. I can't even move. Ah, yes. You see the limits of your power. If you are swallowed by the earth, you may not survive. If you survive, perhaps we shall meet again someday. Oh. Get wrecked, dude. If you survive being swallowed by the earth. Finally, we've reached Vale! What's the matter, Garrett? You're finally home again, aren't you happy? Garrett's just worried about what's happened to everyone in Vale. So, it's just over that last hill? I can't wait to see what your hometown looks like. It's beautiful, I'm sure you will like it, Piers. I'm going to close my eyes. Someone tell me if it's alright to open them. Me too. Would someone else see how things are? I'll go. Come with me, Felix. I mean, how's it? How's it look, Isaac? I'm almost there. It it can't be. What is it, Isaac? Felix, say something. I'm sorry, Jenna, but Vale, Mount Aleph, they're gone. What? This this is terrible. Is that Mount Aleph? Mom. Dora. Mom, Dad. Isaac Garrett, what can I do? What can I say to comfort you? They're here somewhere. They have to be here. What can we do? How can we help them now? I don't know. Call out to them. Such a tragedy. I'll call them. Isaac Garrett. I understand what you're feeling. I felt it too. But standing here won't bring them back. Let's go to Vault. We can rest there and think. Your family's safe, Felix. You don't have to do any. You don't have to worry about it anymore. But what am I supposed to do? I'm all alone now. Aw, poor baby. Shiva, what's gotten into you? How could you say that to Garrett? <laughs> I wonder. Shiva, Mia, you think this is funny? I've lost everyone, my whole family. Garrett, don't be sad. I thought you'd be a little more confident after all your adventures. Haha, <laughs> I got to see my brother crying. So you made it back, Garrett. I knew it would take more than this to beat you, son. Welcome home, Garrett. You look surprised to see us, Garrett. How did you survive? The wise one warned us of danger. He guided us here safely. Everyone think was destroyed our homes or town? But the wise one saved you all? I I'm not alone. If you all made it out to Dora as well? What I feel like She's standing, like, 
five feet just to the right there. Dora? Mom. Welcome home, Kyle. Isaac. You survived! So did you. <clears throat> we did it, guys. We beat Golden Sun, too. Also, I don't feel like... Okay, so since there were four stars and only the Mars star was infused with a little bit of Golden Sun power, does that mean Isaac got half of the Golden Sun's power or did he get a quarter of it? The wise on playing favorites. Yeah. 